One minute left till 2015. Happy New Year! Hey everyone, to achieve that gorgeous black glittery smoky eye, the first thing you're going to want to do is take a concealer and apply this all over the eye to prep for the shadow. Taking Texture by MAC, I'm going to be applying this into my crease and we're going to be using this as a transition color. This is going to be the color that will help blend out all the other colors so we don't have a harsh look because you want your eye makeup look to be very seamless. I'm going to be using my Smashbox On The Rocks palette and I'll make sure to list all the names of the eyeshadows in the description box below so make sure to check that out. I just took a light brown color and applying that over texture and now taking a darker brown color and applying this in the crease and a little bit on the outer corner just to deepen it. Now I'm going to be taking this silver color and applying this all over my lid. Because I didn't want to do a harsh glittery look and I still wanted it to be silver, this is going to shine through underneath the glitter perfectly to get that really nice silver glittery look. Now I'm taking Carbon by MAC and applying this on my outer corner to really darken up the look and give a gorgeous smoky look. I'm going to be wearing this out tonight and it will be dark out so I want to make sure my eyes pop and look very smoky and very glittery. Blending is key so make sure you blend. You want a very seamless look. That's why I'm taking Texture by MAC again and applying it over the black to make sure it's very seamless and all blended together. Now it's time for a dramatic wing. I'm just using my favorite liquid liner by NYC and just doing a dramatic wing. Wings take practice, so if you do mess up, don't get discouraged. It just takes practice, so practice, 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 and you'll get it. My favorite step is next, which is the glitter. Who else loves glitter? I love glitter. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a lash glue. I'm just using the Duo Adhesive and taking a brush that I don't care about that already has glitter on it. And I'm just taking the glue and applying that on my lid. Make sure you don't get it on your wing liner though. And then I'm taking a Craft Store Glitter. If you guys have been with me since day one, you know that I use Craft Store Glitter and it doesn't affect my eyes in any way. But if you are going to do this look, make sure you test it out on your eye first or on your skin just to make sure it doesn't affect you. I just know for me personally that it's fine. I'm just taking lashes. I believe these are the 113s by Ardell. They're very simple but still long and just slightly dramatic just to give that really nice long lash effect. I really want the focus to be on the glitter and the smoky eyes so I didn't want super thick dramatic lashes. Now taking a black eyeliner, this is just by Maybelline, I'm applying this on my waterline and taking Carbon by MAC and a little pencil brush and just smoking out my lower lash line. Keep smoking it out. Now taking mascara, I'm just applying this to blend in my real lashes with my fake lashes and also on the bottom lash line. Now taking my Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer and applying this all over my skin. Please don't mind the way my skin looks. It's kind of red and you it may look like I have blemishes, but I don't. It's because I applied body nair on my face because I couldn't find my regular face nair and it kind of burned my skin, but now my skin it feels fine, it just looks like I have pimples, which I don't because my skin is normally very clear. So just so you guys know that my skin was kind of affected by the Nair. So yeah, I'm just covering all that up now with my Studio Fix Fluid in NC25 by MAC of course. It's my favorite. Make sure to blend it all out. And taking my Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and applying that on all the high points of my face, like my forehead, my nose, my underneath my eyes, my cupid's bow, and also my chin. I want a very highlighted look, especially because it's going to be nighttime and I want my makeup to stand out. I'm going to wear my hair up so all the focus is on my face and my makeup. I'm opening up a new Pro Longwear that I got for Christmas because I was running out of my other one as you could tell. And just reapplying it on the high points of my face. And I'm going to be blending this out with a beauty blender. And then once I blend this out, I'm going to have to come back in with that pencil brush and just blend out my lower lash line again because sometimes it can get messed up from the concealer. 
I also applied a little bit of that concealer on my lips just to prep for my lipstick and my lip liner. As you can see right here, I'm just going in fixing my lower lash line. Also coming back in with my mascara. Don't mind my mascara wand. I bent it on purpose because it's a little bit easier to apply mascara. Now just blending my concealer out a little more. Taking my MAC translucent powder, it's my favorite, and just setting my concealer. I'm so sad. You know how I had my um, spider bites pierced? One fell out, well my newest one fell out, and it closed up, so now I have to go get it re-pierced again and go through that pain, but I'm pretty sad about that. Taking my e.l.f. Contouring bronzer. I'm just applying this on my cheekbones, my forehead, the sides of my nose, and underneath my jawline just to warm up the face and give it more of a slimmer effect and to make my cheekbones pop out. Now taking my MAC blush, I believe this is called Breath of Plum, and I absolutely love this. I've been wearing it every day, and now I'm just applying that right on top of my bronzer on my cheeks. I'm applying it like right where I applied the bronzer, because I don't really like to put it on the apples of my cheeks, because remember, I want a slimmer effect. Taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Soft and Gentle and applying that on my cheekbones, and now taking Nylon Eyeshadow by MAC and putting that right on top for a super highlighted effect and then just blending that out so it's not too harsh. Now for lips, I'm taking this um, lip liner from Sally's. I do not know the name of it, but it reminds me of like Oak Lip Liner by MAC, which I can't find mine, so that's why I'm using this. And I'm just lining my lips and then filling them in a little bit. Then I'm just going to be taking a lipstick by MAC, it's called Impressive, and I believe this is a Sheen Supreme lipstick, and I absolutely love it. It's just like, it reminds me of a shinier version of Velvet Teddy. I absolutely love it. And that is the finished look. I hope that you all have a safe New Year's, and yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this makeup look and try it out for your New Year's Eve. So I hope that you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. If you're not subscribed already and enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. Alright you guys, see you next time.